before I was shot in the head, I remember the street lights mostly. I was walking home from something, but I don't remember what that something was. I pretty much only remember the indistinct hum of traffic and the haze of the street lights being swallowed by the dark. And then everything went away. When I awoke, I was on my back on the sidewalk. I could feel the blood on my face, the sound of the distant traffic in my ears. I looked up, and that was when I first saw Blank Frank. I'm an artisan crossword puzzle maker. I send a questionnaire to my patrons and then fill out the facts and events about their lives, which I turn into a personalized puzzle that I paint and frame and give to them. The answers are names, mostly. The name of a street they lived on as a child, names of pets, or the make of their first car. Things that seem to put their lives in some kind of order, like it was all meant to turn out this way. Even when it is just because they randomly share letters, it started as a silly gift for some people I knew, but word got around. It seems like people don't mind paying a lot of money for something they don't really need, if that something is all about them. I've always been good with puzzles. I can look at a crossword, go to sleep, and in the morning when I wake up, all the answers are there in my head, waiting for me. It's funny. Sometimes I think I'm smarter when I'm asleep than when I'm awake. Jimmy Mannix. Uh, that badge is just a picture of a badge. I accidentally left the real one in the G-string of a stripper at the club. I haven't received my replacement yet. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Have I, uh, done something wrong? I don't know yet. Do you think you've done something wrong? No, I don't think so. You do know you're bleeding from the head, right? Uh, I got shot in the head a few nights ago. It keeps breaking open when I sleep. You might want to go see a doctor about that wound. I don't go to doctors. That sounds suspicious. I just don't go to doctors ever. Is there a reason you didn't call the police? I probably wasn't thinking straight, being shot in the head and all. Head wounds can cause questionable judgment. It doesn't matter though. I didn't see anything. I think it was a random shooting. I'm okay. Random shootings are tough cases to crack. If it was random. Excuse me? The shooting, it was drug related, right? You can tell me. No, no, it wasn't. I don't know who shot me or why. You know, random? Sure. That's how drug fiends usually answer that question. I'm not a drug fiend. And that's how drug fiends usually answer that question as well. Two for two. I don't do drugs. Is there a reason that you don't do drugs? Because you look like the kind of man that might do drugs. Illegal drugs. I need a reason not to do drugs? Do you mind telling me what this is all about? Do you... Like women's underwear. Excuse me? Cute colors, soft cotton. 
Sometimes quietly sexy. Sometimes sexy in an overt manner. I don't know how to answer that question. You're good. You've obviously done this before. Done what before? Lied to a police officer. There's a criminal in this neighborhood. A sick, sick man. He breaks into women's residences and steals their underwear and panties. And you, you think I'm that guy? I certainly haven't found a reason to believe that you are not that guy. Men like this don't stop at stealing panties to take home and jerk off into with hands slick with lotion. They get more and more brazen. If I see any suspicious people, I will definitely give you a call. So you're gonna go with the I'm innocent thing? Huh? Okay, have it your way. Here's my card. The number's on the inside. Call me before the guilt becomes too much and you shoot yourself in the head successfully this time. So now you think I tried to kill myself? The net is tightening around you, my friend. Manix, you really need to lay off the animal tranquilizers. I know what I'm doing, Danny boy. I remember how happy you were when you first became a cop. How's it feel, your first day on the job? I'm a cop. I'm a cop. I'm a cop, 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 cop. I'm not a cop, cop. I won't stop. All the lawbreakers, it'll make me hop. I'm a cop, cop, cop. I'm a cop, cop. My first day, and I am a cop. I'm a cop now. I'm a cop. That's nice and all, Danny boy. But I need you to be focused. Not every cop gets to go undercover to bust a drug ring on their very first day. I'll make you proud, Mannix. I know you will, Danny boy. I've got a very good feeling about this. It wasn't your fault on the shot. You need to let it go. Let it go? My young rookie partner gets killed in a drug bust. I'm supposed to just let that go? This is gonna be your moment. Stay calm, Jimmy. Stay calm. Danny boy, look out! Hang on, kid. Hang on. I never thought this would be how it ends for me. Shot dead at a Mexican drug cartel's Oktoberfest celebration. I'm cold, Jimmy. I'm so cold. You okay, kid? You're just cold? because the night air is rushing through the fist-sized crater in the back of your head. Sing me a song, Jimmy, just until the ambulance comes. I don't know any songs, Danny boy. Sure you do. Didn't your mother ever sing songs to you when you were a little boy? Oh, yeah, I think I remember one. Jimmy cracked corn, and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. Mama loves her little Jimmy boy. <laughs> that was really nice. Thank you. You were the best, kid. You were the best. Yeah, Maddox? Animal tranquilizers are not the answer. Nothing is the answer, Danny boy. Nothing. Sometimes in the shower, I scrub my skin so hard that it bleeds, but I can't wash off all the filth. It's in my pores. This filthy city is all over me. I'm telling you, that guy is 
Definitely hinky. I really don't see doctors anymore. When I was 12, I went into the hospital to have a broken bone reset. I ended up in a coma for eight weeks. In the coma, I had a dream. I don't know if I had the dream only once, or if the dream repeated over and over for the whole time. I was walking through a cornfield, and it was day, except it was night, and then it was day again. I don't know if I had ever been to a cornfield. I don't remember much from before the coma. I might not actually remember anything from before the coma. In my dream, I came to a scarecrow. I suddenly had the strange feeling that I was supposed to ask it a question. But I did not know what the question was. And that was it. That was the dream I had once, or that I had lived through for eight weeks. I woke from the coma, and for a brief moment, I had no idea who I was. Hey, space baby, you got some marching moon dust for me? That's twenty-three dollars and forty-two cents. By the way, have you heard anything on the street about a guy stealing women's panties? Used panties or freshly laundered panties? Good question. Freshly laundered, I believe. shit like that, Chief. Well, keep an air open, okay? That guy is a sick fuck. And I want to stop him before it goes too far. It's Cake Town, Jimmy. Shit's always gonna get out of hand. Ain't that the truth?
I understand codes. You have a symbol. It looks like it might mean something, but then you find it means something else. Sometimes you have to find out what it doesn't mean to discover what it really means. Do you mind if I look around? Good morning, Mr. Fripp. I was thinking maybe we got off on the wrong foot the other day. It happens. Nice shirt. So you like the red soda? Yeah, I like it okay. You know who else likes the red soda? Uh, I'm not sure where you're going with this. Criminals. Criminals like the red soda. Of course they do. Anyway, I realized that I could quickly mark you off the list of suspects with one simple request. I don't even know why I'm on the list of suspects, but go ahead. What's the question? I'm gonna need you to pull down your pants. Excuse me? If you're not wearing stolen women's panties, then I figure I'm barking up the wrong tree. Seriously? You're asking me to pull down my pants? This is serious business, Mr. Fripp. Look, you can bark up trees all you want. I'm not gonna pull down my pants. That is why you're a suspect, my friend. I haven't done anything wrong. And honestly, I'm not pulling down my pants in the hopes of that making you less fucking crazy. Look, I realize that the letter of the law doesn't enable me to forcibly remove your pants. But as a detective, I've been known to color outside the lines now and then. If you get what I'm saying. Wait, are you threatening to forcibly pull down my pants? I don't know. Maybe you just tripped and fell when you were opening the door. Your pants came off. I could sell that. Do I need a lawyer? That is what guilty people usually do. All right, I think this conversation is over. I'm going back to work. You have a nice day, okay? Good luck with your panty bandit. I've got you right where I want you, you know. It's just a matter of time. That guy is definitely hinky. This life is a world of infinite sadness sometimes. I wonder why I don't just gouge my own eyes out so that I can't see the pain and the misery and the filth anymore. Maybe it's time to retire, my friend. Take it easy. Walk away from the filth. You know, Danny boy, I've only discharged my firearm three times in my career. And each time, I accidentally shot a civilian. I'm not gonna let that be my legacy. I'm not going out like that, Danny boy. You have served this city to the best of your ability. Mannix, that's enough. Sometimes, at night, I see the face of the young man that I accidentally shot in the cock. It haunts me. Freeze! He shouldn't have been running naked in the street at 3 a.m. with his cock out. It was dark. And he was a Japanese exchange student. There was no way for you to know he didn't understand English. It was dark. Thanks, Danny boy. You've always been there for me. 
I'm your partner, being dead doesn't stop that. solid, a liquid, or a gas. I really don't know what you mean by that. <sighs> to the universe, time and place are water. I swam here. That really doesn't clear things up for me. There are multiple lives going through you with every breath. Your consciousness chooses to exist in this one because it is the easiest to comprehend. This life is the easiest to comprehend? Really? Trust me, some of the others are quite peculiar. Peculiar? Visible auras, elastic time, infrared reality, pianos, and barbed wire. So then you mean peculiar as in only things that crazy people see? The lines are parallel when they are straight, but they are not always straight. Okay. You really need to stop talking like that. Sometimes these other lives can cross over into your dreams because that's when your consciousness is at its least defensive. All things can happen then. You solved the cryptogram. Yeah, I think so. Some of the letters didn't quite fit. That's because in my lifeline, the English alphabet only has 23 letters. That explains things, I guess. For instance, we don't have the letter Z. Uh, what do you use when you need a Z? We use the letter X. But X and Z don't sound anything alike. Spell xylophone. The other night you said you were my best friend, but I don't even know you. Not in this path, but in mine. Not in this moment, but just beside it. I exist in this other world? Among others. So, what am I like in this other world or dimension or whatever? Debonair. Debonair? Really? Really. Tout a été calculé à l'exception de la façon de vivre. Imaginez ces choisir. Nous sommes nos choix. May I intrigue you with some tobacco? I don't see it. I haven't seen you in years. I haven't seen you since you left to join the revolution in Quebec. So I'm a debonair revolutionary in Canada. Yes. You still send me the occasional postcard. What's the deal with the cryptogram? There's a killer loose in my city. He sends these puzzles to taunt the media. He calls himself the Zodiac. With an X. I assume. 
Yes. Zodiac with an X. No one has been able to crack these puzzles. Until you. Are you like a cop then? No. I'm a deep sea diver. Metaphorically. You know, none of this is really making any sense. Nothing truly does. Does everyone in your world talk like that? Because I think it would get tiring. corn is supreme. Sounds interesting. When the corn is supreme, everything you now know will no longer matter. And this is happening anytime soon? Because I'm kind of busy right now. I don't really think I have a lot of time to prepare for the new way. The harvest is coming sooner than you think. So there's going to be a harvest, which brings the new way. And then corn is supreme. Is that pretty much it? Because I think I got it. Thank you. We have a pamphlet. Thank you. I'm sure this will help when getting ready for when the corn is supreme and all. Don't mock us. That will not bode well when the new way comes. Sorry. It's just that my world is going off the tracks and all. The lines are parallel when they are straight. But they are not always straight. Uh, okay. Thanks for the booklet, I guess. See you at the harvest. At the harvest, yeah.
don't know. Did he deserve it? I'm not sure yet. I just have a feeling that some things are converging. The lines are parallel when they are straight, but they are not always straight. Ain't that the truth? Whatever that meant. I'll keep that in mind. Father Miller? Hi, son. Oh, you're looking at the hand. I just came from a baptism. The infant was, uh, angry. I'm gonna go wash my hands and, uh, I'll be back. Nice jacket. Thank you. I have karaoke with the nuns after this. I've been working on the hip-hop. So, son, what makes you think you might need an exorcism? Well, shot in the head, now there's a guy in a diving suit who keeps hanging out with me. I think I'm, you know, possessed or something. Does this man in a diving suit compel you to do things of an evil nature? No, not really. We just kind of talk. He has me solve puzzles uh, and try and find a murderer. And is he here with you now? Yeah, he's over there. I don't see anyone there. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm thinking I'm possessed. I see him, but uh, you, you don't. If you saw him too, then he'd just be a regular guy in a diving suit. Son, do you believe in God? You know, I'm, I'm still trying to figure that one out. I, I figured that if you believe in God, then that's enough to get this thing straightened out, right? Faith takes faith. Uh, not really sure what that means. Do I need to, like, do that confession thing to get started? You know, how far would I need to go back on that? I'd really like to help you with your problems, son, but, uh, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. I get it. You, you don't believe me? No, no. I believe you, certainly. You look like you definitely have a devil in there. So, if you believe me, why can't you give me an exorcism? You're a priest. I'm afraid the church doesn't let us do those things anymore. These are modern times, they say. Church won't let you get rid of demons? We can do exorcism sometimes, just not in America, or any English-speaking country, for that matter. I would have thought that that was something that the church should kind of do, right? Like an auto garage not making car repairs. Feedman possession is pretty much a, a third world country thing now. Here we have psychologists, psychiatrists, Drugs. Lawyers. Lawyers? It seems it, it doesn't matter if you get rid of a soul's demons or not. They're eventually going to sue you anyway. So basically I have to die to get better or get a passport and go to a third world country. You can medicate yourself to the point where nothing seems to matter. Those are my only choices? If you are serious about this exorcism thing, I know someone that might be of help. I thought you said that the church doesn't do exorcisms anymore. We don't, but I know a man who does. Father Max had a spiritual crisis and left the calling, but he still does some exorcisms on occasion. I guess you can think of him as a freelance exorcist. He has a radio show on Sunday nights at 2 a.m. Maybe you can take a listen. See if it's right for you. Thank you, caller two. For those of you who are just joining us now, welcome, searchers and seekers, listening to the Agnostic Theology Hour 
and I'm Father Max, here to answer your spiritual questions about life in an indifferent and possibly godless universe. Caller 1, what is your question this early morning? I think I might be possessed by a demon. That certainly is troubling. Is this demon spiritual or secular? A secular demon? You know, drugs, alcohol, paranoia, the typical atheist demons. I'm not sure if I believe in God, but I think it's a spiritual demon. Well, that'd be most accurately described as an agnostic demon. Continue. How does this work exactly? I mean, you think that there's probably not a god, but you still perform exorcisms. It does not require belief in God to understand the evils of those who subvert God's will. I'm not sure that I follow you. If the king of chessboard is captured, is the remaining pawn still not a pawn? That didn't help. Understanding the agnostic God that may or may not exist requires great flexibility of spiritual thought. Maybe I should call back after I do, like, some stretching exercises. Remember, every little thing the reflex does leaves you answered with a question mark. Excuse me? Caller, where is your state of line uh, after we're finished? My assistant will get the necessary information from you. We'll see if we can help you out. Thank you, Father Max. Thank you, Caller 1. And now, Caller 2. How can I help you navigate the void this morning? just used as a dessert topping. Then life itself is a dessert. I figured you'd say something like that. It is not feeling seeing you. The memories of us that I have, you and I do not share. I probably do need to work more on that debonair thing. It's funny though, it's kind of how I felt when I came out of the coma. Everyone asked me if I had heard the things they'd said to me while I was out. They all seemed disappointed when I had told them that I hadn't. The dead don't miss their time sleeping. Sorry, yet another one that I don't really get. It shows how little we know anybody. People change, people die, people come and go. And they were never what you thought they were. And you're never who you thought you were. I like to think that there was more to it than that. The truest definition of who someone is is the sum of the secrets that they don't dare tell another soul. So the me you know is nothing like the me that I think I am. Do I have that right? You share chemicals and perhaps some coincidences. And some of these possible coincidences are the reason that you think that I'm able to help you? If the dice are rolling, then there really isn't a reason to have dice. You know, I'm not even sure if any of this is really happening. Well, you've got three options, as far as I can see. Option one, you're lying in the street, dying from the gunshot wound to your head. And all of this 
is but random neurons firing until the final lights turn off. That's bleak. Option two, you're still in the hospital, in your coma. All of this is simply just the remaining light traveling from the dying stars of your previous consciousness. Please tell me that option three is a little more cheerful. Option three, this is really happening. It doesn't make sense now, and it won't make sense later, but this is where you are. This is the now. Given the other two choices, I'll go with option three. Which means what exactly? It means we wait for the now to come to us. Uh, how long is that gonna take? Time is a telescope. It depends which end you're looking in. Thank you. Thank you for clearing that up. You wanted to see me, Captain? Yeah, Maddox. This was delivered to the front desk today. I'd like you to tell me what exactly this is. Well, Captain, without knowing the details, my detective skills tells me that this belongs to someone who enjoys the intimate sensations of a long, thick cock. Some people appreciate girth. Damn it, that package was for Detective Keller. This one came addressed to you. Damn, this bastard's mocking me. Who exactly is mocking you? The panty thief, Captain. He's a thief who's out there stealing women's panties. He's a sick fuck, Captain. I'm gonna get him before he moves on to more dangerous kicks. You know, Mannix, we're kind of between murders this week. Maybe you should just take a few days off, relax, try not being so intense for a little while. Intense, Captain. This city is a burning brown paper bag full of shit, filth, and illegal Korean fireworks. Intensity just means that I'm paying attention. So tell me, just why are you so obsessed with this panty thief anyway? It just seems odd. I'm not really sure. I just feel compelled. Like this is something that I have to do. This wouldn't have anything to do with your daughter, would it? Mandy? Why would this have anything to do with Mandy? I don't know, maybe because you feel you can't protect her enough? So you feel compelled to protect these other women from the panty thief? My daughter lives inside of a bubble, Captain. I can't protect her more than that now, can I? Mannix. It's not your fault your daughter was born without an immune system and has spent her entire life in a sealed, germ-free environment. But it is my fault. I'm the one who had the damaged sperm. I'm the one who polluted her mother's womb with my fucked up baby juice. I'm the one who fucked up my DNA with animal tranquilizers and the disease secretions of dozens of sketchy whores. I don't hate you, Dad. I just wish you hadn't casually abused the genetic makeup of your semen before getting Mom pregnant with me. That's all. Baby, if I had to do it all over again, I'd have someone else impregnate your mother for me. Someone with clean, healthy semen. Sure. It's just that I get sad sometimes, you know? I understand your sadness. I've spent many nights sleeping on sadnesses Sad, sad couch. Okay, like, I'll never be able to hold my girlfriend's hand. I'll never be able to walk with her along the beach at sunset. I'll never be able to kiss her lips with the sun warm on my face. You can be honest with me, Mandy. Is it because of my disease damaged sperm that you fear the semen of men? Is that why you prefer girls? Your fucked up sperm didn't make me a lesbian, Dad. I only wish that were true, baby. I only wish that that was true. Look, Dad, this isn't always all about you, okay? I have my own life. I don't understand what that means. I have thoughts.
thoughts and feelings that you don't even know about. Feelings. I know some people who have those. Do you even know that I have two degrees in advanced mathematics? That I volunteer for a suicide hotline and I'm currently studying the Chinese language? So, do a lot of the people that call the suicide hotline speak Chinese? That's not why I'm learning Chinese, Dad. It's a beautiful language, rich in history. Honey, have you ever been in the kitchen of a seedy Chinese restaurant? Huh? What? There are some things that you see that you don't even want to know the Chinese word for. That's all. There's more to life than strippers and seedy Chinese restaurants. You should get out more. The streets are my life, Mandy. They may be dirty and filthy and smell of urine, but I know that smell. That is the smell of my city. Look, Mannix, I need to ask a favor for you. Sure, Captain. Just name it. Mrs. Kern gave me two choices. I could either take her on a long-needed vacation, or I could get a divorce. Those are two lousy choices, Captain. I'm going to Hawaii in two weeks. Me and the wife are going to Luau, okay? For those two weeks, I need you to not shoot anybody. Just two weeks until I get out of town. You know I can't make a promise like that. I answer to the street. Then stick to some quiet streets, please. I'll do my best, Captain. Thank you for coming, Father Max. I didn't realize that you would get to me so soon. No effect necessary. I live for this shit. Uh, what's with the gas mask? Spores! My control! I haven't even stood you without this shit! Mind control spores. First, they put them in beverages and snack cakes. Now they put them in the air. You can't see them, and you can't taste them. And that's how you know they're there. So, who are the ones behind these spores? Oh, the church, the government, the military, the bankers, various factions of Illuminati, and the industrial beverage and snack cake complex. You know, the puppet masters. That's a lot of puppet masters. Of course, they couldn't do anything without the alien technology. Should I tell you the background of what's been happening? What I know about my possession? What's to know? It sounds like pretty standard demon possession stuff. Let's get this show on the road. Really? We're gonna start right now? Oh yeah, rock and roll. Okay. Is the spirit here with us? Yeah, he's here. I cast thee out, unclean spirit, the name of a mighty God who may or may not exist. Is he still here? He's still here. Shit! It isn't working! Really? It was supposed to all happen? Just like that? Pretty much, yeah. Should you, like, try again? Maybe use some holy water or something? He's a strong one. Holy water is just going to get him wet. I'm thinking now we set you on fire and burn the spirit out. Set me on fire? What the fuck? Oh yeah, spirits like these are highly flammable. But I'm pretty flammable too. The demon spirit will consume all the fire. Your faith will keep you safe. My faith will keep me safe? 
since I don't think I really have any faith, it seems like this would be a bad idea for me. That's right. Your faith is nebulous. Well, that plan probably won't work then. Probably not. That may indeed play a part, and while my setting people on fire hasn't worked yet, I cast thee out, unclean spirits! What do we do now? I'm not sure. Usually after I set people on fire, they don't come back to me again. This is new ground. out of this delicious whipped fluff. I'll get more. You are a gracious host. I thank you. Shouldn't you be back home trying to catch this killer? I gave the puzzle to the authorities. I'm good for now. So why are you so involved with trying to catch the Zodiac anyway? The police contacted me. They know that I'm tuned into multiple wavelengths. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. What the fuck? The panties are part of the plan to stopping the Zodiac. So you steal women's panties, and that's gonna help us catch the Zodiac? How exactly does that work? I'm not sure. The universe usually figures out that middle part. Always does. Nemo here. Uh, this is just a friend of mine. Wait, you can see him? It'd be hard to miss him. Him wearing a diving suit and all. You're tuned into a little bit of a different, different frequency, frequency, aren't you? You going out looking for submarines there, sailor? The pressure at the bottom of the ocean is immense. Good to know. Is there something I can do for you, Detective? Two more women got their panties stolen last night. All within six blocks of here. Funny that. What's on the table over there? They're tablecloths. I like colorful tablecloths. Those certainly look colorful. Sure looks like a lot of them. You having some people over for a dinner party? Mr. Fripp is a debonair gentleman. Debonair gentlemen throw elegant parties for their friends with colorful tablecloths. I don't see the debonair part. That's because he's not wearing his white dinner jacket yet. It makes quite the difference. That must be one hell of a jacket. So, what are you doing at this elegant dinner party? You wouldn't have to be eating tiny Vienna sausages and trading stolen women's panties, would you? What can I say? You're right about the delicious Vienna sausages, but you're wrong about the rest. 
You can't have an elegant dinner party without Vienna sausages. We're not savages. Okay then. Enjoy your party, gentlemen. Maybe next time I will have even received an invitation. See, you brought me another one. Not me. It was here when I came out this morning. Huh. It's a short one this time. So, what does it say? Uh, it just says I'm here. This might be bad. This might be really, really bad. He's here? You think the Zodiac is in this world? Maybe cracking the code upset him. Great. I pissed off a murderous psychopath. It's not like I even wanted to be involved in all of this. I just like to keep to myself, you know? Sometimes it is not the choices that you make. It is what you do when the universe chooses you. Hello, Father Max. I've been thinking about your demon problem. I think I have an idea. Does it still involve fire? Oh no. This idea is decidedly more modern. Okay. We'll use a charge of electricity to shock the demon into submission. Don't worry though. We'll carefully use just under the lethal amount. I'm not sure I like this idea either. We can do it right now. We just need to fill up your bathtub and get a toaster ready. I think I'm good with my demon. I have bigger problems to worry about now. So is the demon here? He's here. But no one can see him, right? Actually, there was a detective here yesterday that saw him. Blank Frank thinks that the detective was on drugs. Drugs? Now that I can work with. Rock and roll.
You're an interesting man, Father Max. Holy shit! I see him! So what's with the deep sea diver suit? He says he swam here. He swam here through your head?! That's the best way to describe it, without having to backtrack and explain the works of Joseph Louis Lagrange and Bernard Ryman, or the concept of the Minkowski space-time. Uh-huh! What's with the gas mask? Mind control spores. He says they're everywhere. They're not just in beverages and snack cakes anymore. You're okay here. I cleared the spores in this home. All good. You can do that. That's great news. I have run out of fresh filters. I've been breathing through strips of my old underwear. Unfortunately, also looks like a psycho killer came out of my head now, too. Maybe you should get that hole in your head sewed shut. I could do that. That's just silly. I mean, it probably would work. Seriously? Yeah, the problem is the Zodiac's already here. The cat is out of the bag. Great. My head is a bag of cats with a hole in it. Wonderful. Evidently, we're having a get-together, and I don't have nearly enough party mix. Hello again. I read your booklet. Pretty scary stuff. I can see why you want to be on that Scarecrow guy's good side. The harvest time has come. Really? I thought it was going to be, like, sometime in the way future. Like, never, maybe. The Scarecrow is here. I'm really glad this is all working out for you, then. He wants to see you. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of busy at the moment. I really don't have time to talk to some guy I don't know and talk about corn. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder. She's just some religious nut. I don't think there's any conspiracy here. You didn't have the pleasure of spending enough time as a cop, Danny boy. You never developed the nose. Yeah, I guess I got shot before my cop nose developed. One thing's for sure, wherever they go, we're gonna follow them. We'll catch them red-handed with the red panties. You don't seem to understand. You cannot say no to the scarecrow. Look, I'm trying to be polite here. I think we should go with her! Really? Rock and roll, boys! I don't think rock and roll is a real valid reason to follow this woman. You can't argue with the philosophical simplicity that is rock and roll. Rock and roll! It has been decided. Fuck. Rock and roll. Okay. Rock and roll! And that is the parable of the mariachi, the blind senorita, and the devil's thick candle. The devil's candle may have been long, may have been hard and red, but the mariachi wrestled his fear. The mariachi wrestled the devil, and the mariachi won. The mariachi was ready. The devil can come at us at any time. And like the mariachi, we must be ready. If we are to wrestle our demons, we must always be ready to throw our hat into the ring. Few of us are born to wrestling greatness. But I will say, remember, Father Padre, is always in your corner. If you do not have a hat, I will gladly lend you mine. Take the hat. Take the hat. Take the hat. Take the hat.
I see it in your eyes. You're disappointed in my mask. Well, I was picturing something a little bit more scarecrowy. Yeah, the girls came up with the scarecrow thing before I got here. It's not really my style. Mostly. You, you ruined my fun. I just solved a puzzle. Puzzles made by men are made with the desire to be solved. Puzzles that are men are made for the amusement of their maker alone. Great. You talk like that too. You know there's a Bible verse explains you eloquently. That's flattering. Go ahead. Please share. It goes, the fucked up cannot rest until they fuck more things up. They can't even sleep at night until they fuck someone over. Because that is who they are. They're the motherfuckers who fuck other people's shit up. Ah, Proverbs 4.16. Really? That's in the Bible? I believe he may have paraphrased. How about this one? This is the evil in everything that happens under the sun. The same destiny overtakes all. The hearts of people, moreover, are full of evil and there is madness in their hearts while they live. And afterwards, they join the dead. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 3. I've always liked that one. Dark. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. But we are just standing around in a field reading Bible verses with a serial killer in a rather nice chair. It is a nice chair. My slaves got me this wonderful chair. Your slaves? I have to admit, sometimes even I wondered if it was really true or not. I believe that the women I killed would be my slaves in the next world. And lo and behold, they were here, waiting for me. So... You believe in all of this, the corn is supreme harvest stuff? To tell the truth, it wasn't my idea. My idea was more like a mariachi day of the dead kind of thing. But the girls, they believe. And I'm spiritually flexible. I can work with it. The lines are parallel, and they are straight. But they're not always straight. You, you think of all of this like a puzzle, but it's actually just a game. We're all just playing checkers with death, really. I would have thought that the game would have been chess. Don't flatter yourselves. I believe it's your move. So what do we do? I'm not sure. I can't bring it back to my world. You can't? I think me trying to force him back through the hole in your head would make your brain explode. That sounds like great fun. Well, it's not like the police are gonna believe anything about this anyways. Gentlemen, it seems your move is obvious. The only way to stop me is to kill me. Yeah, I figured that was where this was heading. I don't think I could kill a man in cold blood. Shit. I guess that means I'm not really an atheist after all. Killing a man in cold blood, I've got no problem with that. You know, I don't give a damn about all this pussy philosophy, mumbo jumbo shit you're all going on about. But I know a murderer when I see one. And all of you talking your deep pussy thoughts sure as hell ain't gonna get shit done. Dad! Mandy. What are you doing here? The outside world can kill you. I've decided I'd rather live free for whatever days I'm given than live the same day over and over again in a bubble of fear. Well, I'm not sure you want to see what's going to happen here, honey. Daddy might be making a mess. I support you, Dad. And after you take care of your dirty, dirty business, I want to do two things I've always dreamed of. And what are those? I want to go to the park with you and eat ice cream cones. I like that, baby. What's the other thing? I'm going to go with my girlfriend to the beach, and we are going to run in the sand together, naked. And you want me there too? I don't think I'm a naked at the beach kind of guy, Mandy. 
That will just be me and my girlfriend, Dad. Naked on the beach. That sounds magical. You'll be in hell a long time before you ever get the chance to see my daughter naked. You sick fuck. Cow cop, cow cop, cow cop, 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 cop. I got this. Son, I absolve of you any spiritual transgressions that may or may not have just occurred. Thank you, Father. Uh, what do we do now? Not my problem anymore, fellas. My job is done. I'm gonna go into town, get drunk at my bar, then hand in my retirement papers and piss all over my desk. I'm too old to be dealing with this filth. So I guess I don't have to worry about you coming to my door and talking about stolen panties anymore. No. Jerk off into them until your balls turn inside out. Doesn't matter to me anymore. Rock and roll! Uh, you gonna be okay? I brought to you. Crazy stuff there, huh? You know, it probably makes some sense. Not in your world or mine, but somewhere. You know, I was thinking, you haven't told me much about you or your world or how you even know the other me. It's better that way. One world is confusing enough. I guess we have to keep the lines parallel when we can, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. You know, I'm still not sure if any of this is real or not. Something else occurred to me. There might be a fourth option for your situation. I'd love to hear it. You're dead. Now, that's a great start. And this all has been your soul trying to make sense of your past life while you're being reincarnated into the next. You could be born any minute now. I'm not sure I really want to start a new life all over again. We start another life every day. We just usually don't realize it. You know, you should write some of that shit down. It doesn't make much sense to me, but I'm sure some people would find it deep. We only truly find the things that we were never looking for. Yeah, I mean shit like that. I'll be going home tonight. You know, even if you aren't really real, it's still been really eventful knowing you. The universe chose us. We will always be connected. That is our secret. I swim. I swim. I swim. I swim. I can swim back. I can swim back. I can swim back. I can swim back. I can swim back.
We believe what we see. Or do we see what we believe? Friends, our only limitations are ourselves. This morning, I'll leave our show with this final question. If a phone rings in heaven, does it make a sound? Maybe next week, you will call me with the answer. Talk or don't talk. Either way, I'll listen. gone so I choose to leave sometimes it's just that simple desire to be free. I wish I had your strength. Your beauty makes me strong. Let my camera be strong enough for the both of us. Ne 
habiter du printemps car l'amour n'a qu'un temps. Le langage a fait son effet de nuit, c'est le moment de la réussite. Vous voulez puis trouver votre ardeur et puis donner du bonheur. Mais désarmé par son air connu, je vous reste tout à fait stupide. Pendant que dans son arbois, elle soupira de mi-voix. Oh, si vous voulez de l'amour, n'y mettez pas une misure. Cueillez le bonheur qui passe, car c'est le printemps. Profitez du moment, allons dépêcher.